Somos el equipo verde de Woodlawn. We are the Woodlawn Green Team. We have done multiple meetings from mid-October of last year to the end of the school year. One of the things we've done in point A to point B was a waste audit. We got gloves. Um, we were like putting them in like separate what was bins. good. Yeah, like separate bins. It felt like really weird and like kind of disturbing and fun at the same time. There was a lot of stuff in the wrong places. Because like sometimes there'd be like the paper cups, which is trash, and the recycle, or there'd be like some sort of like plastic. I remember there was like plastic sheets in the recycle when they're supposed to go in the trash. Wrote letters to the district about how, why we should have more recycling bins, more the right to have a composting thing. Yeah, we kind of like told people about it, where we were saying like. If we saw somebody doing it, then we would, like putting something in the wrong place, then we would go over and we'd tell them this goes here because of like the waxy inside or it's just not recyclable. We did an audit for with our, uh, with the garbage of our lunch and we saw that there's lots of, um, lots of food scraps that could be uh, composted. Telling people that composting matters and it can help the environment so much more than just putting in the garbage can and making the landfill more and more in it. We used these garbage grabbers and we went around with a plastic bag and we used the grabbers and picked up all the garbage uh, around the uh, garden and the uh, recess playground. In the goal program, um, so, sometimes we measured how much rain we got. Um, we, we saw how many clouds there were outside. The smaller clouds so, sometimes were, were lighter, like had lighter colors, and the bigger clouds, but I think it had more rain. NASA. I think they um, they checked over it and then they send us they sent us some data back. When we started the bike walk, a little thing we started doing the beans, where when people just got in school, they got to vote what way they got to school, and we had a bunch of boards showing different amounts of all the ones on different days. I was too close to the street. And when people open their car doors, it's just too close to the bike racks. And there wasn't enough. And then we started getting new bike racks over by the back playground. And more people are biking now. There were like shoelaces, handkerchiefs, and pencils that you could get, and stickers, if you participate in the walk or bike to school day. And we uh, biked and walked to school was pretty fun, and I think I liked that we got new bike racks too. What I really liked about Salmon Project is getting to learn about Salmon and what they do. When I was doing the salmon project, I learned uh, looking at the insides of the salmon let me understand more about the salmon. Um, I liked um, how uh, we got to call like baby salmon. We learned that salmon go upstream, they can amazingly find their way back. When the other people went in the garden, I felt happy that we were, they were helping by like, helping by taking out the weeds. In the garden we did some leaf rubbing 
and they, they're in different colors, so you know, there are different leaves. Went outside and we observed what kind of like nature there was around us, like whether there were, there was like a weeping willow or a little tiny bird that ran across. Did as we did energy on it is when we went to the print, other principal's room and then it was very hot. We took the temperature and then we gave some suggestions. We made these little signs that said lights out when we get out, go out the classroom. We were telling people like to to like whenever they're not in the classroom to turn off lights more often than they usually do. I got to go from classroom to classroom to classroom and check how much um, energy was being used. We had to take out about 60 lights because there was too much lights inside the um, lights. <laughs> Over six months we saved about $800. turn stuff that could be trash into like um, like art. You could like make art out of stuff that would have just been thrown into the trash. And um, we got the whole school to help compost so we can stop landfill. We got more recycling out of the garbage than a few years ago. And we've just helped made, we're helping Oregon be a Portland be a better city little by little. Almost 5,000 schools participate in the Eco Schools USA program. Only 94 schools currently hold the title of Green Flag. Woodlawn is the second school in Oregon to earn the Green Flag. Go Woodlawn Wildcats! We are Woodlawn Wildcats. Help in my mailbox. I'm Log Woodlawn Wildcats. We are Woodlawn Wildcats. Orgulloso de ser Woodlawn Wildcats. We are Woodlawn Wildcats. Nahna Woodlawn Wildcats. We are Woodlawn Wildcats. Roar! <laughs>